Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the second half of that 2023 bone in session baseball break. This is pick your team number eight. Big thanks to everybody taking advantage of the 20% off the remaining teams just to get this break across the finish line. We did it here on a Monday, first of the month, new font. Thanks to Luis with triple last bot mojo. So thanks everyone for getting in and for making this happen. All right, there are the final eight boxes here. No more Inception after this. So big thanks to everybody who did all these breaks with us. We appreciate it. Uh, everyone had uh, Ronel Blanco as your potential first no-hitter of the year. But he did give up a walk. Keep an eye on that game throughout this break. There's Jorge Ruiz, 38 out of 99. I think the last batter is, well, George Springer's on the mound, but the next batter is Vlad Guerrero Jr. who's trying to break up the no-hitter. Your autos are going to be Tamar Johnson. Nice, 55 out of 200. Pirates, Darren with the Buckos. I did not see what you said about the Pete Rose retrofactors in Bowman 2024. And there's Henry Bolt to 99. Oh, and base hit for the Giants. Yeah, I got the game. I got that game on right now. Rocket, thank you. And in play for Vlagro Jr. out. There it is. No, no. Vlagro grounds out. They must have. Wow, this is a new feature for MLB Game Day. They must have like everyone somehow tagged because you can see their position on the field. And it was kind of fun here. I'm going to switch cameras for a second. See that top right-hand corner right there? They, they had um, people's positions right over there, and they all gathered around the mound. That was kind of, that was kind of wild. Anyway. Yeah, is this the... When, when's the earliest no-hitter? In baseball history. Has there ever been an opening day no-hitter? There must be. But that's the ball game. Everyone had Ronel Blanco on the bingo card as the first no-hitter of the season. Nine innings. I think just over 100 pitches. Right? 105 pitches, 73 of them for strikes, seven strikeouts, two walks. First no-hitter of the season for the Astros. 46 out of 50. Samuel Zavala, that's going to be for James. And Churia right there. And there is Adrian uh, Placencia. 94 out of 200. It's going to go to the Halos. Joseph G with that one. So Rex is saying on April 14th, 1917, White Sox pitcher AC caught through a no-hitter against the Browns, the earliest day for a no-hitter in the regular season. But what game was that? Was that like the... I mean, I guess calendar date-wise, I guess this would be the earliest. But I, I, I don't really care about calendar date, but like I need game, like number of games into the season. There's Cole Young, 65 out of 75. It's a cool-looking parallel there. Andrew with the Mariners. I mean, this is like, what, the fifth Astros game of the year? All 
All right, and then we got Jason Churio, Jackson's brother, 35 out of 99 for the Guardians. Shane with Cleveland. Anthony Hall, 62 out of 75, Yankees. That'll be for Andrew. And Ronnie Simon, 130 out of 399, Tampa Bay Rays. Chris Parent with the Rays. Oliver thinks there was a, a Yankees no-no on opening day. We got for the Mets, Alex Ramirez, 41 out of 75. On April 7th, Astros Ken Forge hurls the earliest no-hitter in MLB history. That's earliest calendar date, but what game number was that? Musgrove had a had a no hitter in on April 9th. There you go. So Bob Feller threw an opening day no hitter in 1940. All right. So I guess there has been an opening day no hitter. All right, Gavin Cross, 39 out of 50 for the Royals. That'll be for Luis, one of his last spot mojo teams. And there's Jordan Beck, 246 out of 300. Rockies, that's going to go to Kevin. Two turntables and a microphone. Yeah, I guess there's multiple definitions of what an earliest no-hitter is. Early calendar year, early, early in the season, but Bob Feller, throws an, if he throws an opening day no-hitter, then that answers my, my definition of the earliest no-hitter. We got uh, Glader Figuero, 35 out of 50. That'll be for the Rangers, Matthew. We got Trace Gonzalez, 212 out of 399. Pirates, Darren. And there's Kevin Parada, 49 out of 50 for the New York Mets. Joe Lawson, Metropolitans. One of Ronald's brothers right there, Brian Acuna, one of the twins. Off the bottom of the wall, go Mookie. That's triple. Nice lead off triple. Nice Mookie bets. Hit the bottom of the wall. Giant center fielder kind of ran into. Is that the Korean guy? He was hustling. He almost had it. 
Yeah. Hits the bottom of the wall. Center fielder hits the wall. And then there's Jet Williams, 24 out of 75. Jet for the Mets. Jet, woo, woo, woo. Goes to Joe Lawson and the Mets. So I'm sorry that the season early in career. Did they end early or they just have a couple extra breaks? I would imagine they would just have a couple extra breaks throughout the season. There's Adon Sanchez for the Cubs, 14 out of 200. That will be for Richard. Because I think Major League Baseball likes to have everybody play at the end of the season on the same day. Maybe even at the same time. There you go, RBI for Otani. Hydration here. And then we got Jesus Baez. 44 out of 75. Mets. Joe. Your autos. We have Chase DeLotter. 17 out of 50. It's for Shane and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. And there's Xavier Isaac revealing an Austin Charles Royals, 285 out of 399 for Luis. TV, like the TV sound for me? A little delay compared to the online updates. And I guess there is the YouTube delay too. Or sometimes I'm ahead of people, I guess because of the delay. I don't know how that works. There's Tucker Tolman for the Blue Jays, 71 out of 99. That'll be for Andrew. And your final two autographs here in Bowman Inception. Thanks, everybody, for the fill. We got Rainer Arias. Nice. 40 out of 50. That's for the Giants. That's going to go to Greg. Primordial Prospect autograph card. And I, it has, like, those these gold foil lightning bolts. I don't... Is that just the out of 50, or is that something a little different? I feel like I haven't seen that before. Anyway, there you go, Greg. Nice. And the last one here is Eric Brown Jr., 86 out of 99. The son of, uh, the son of Eric Brown. That's going to go to Oliver and the Brew Crew. And there you go, boys and girls. That was 2023 Bowman Inception Baseball from JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That was for your teammate. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.